Welcome back, 7 Days to Die modding fans. This is Zith. And today I'd like to show you a proof of concept mod uh, that I've been working on to show how to implement the new item modifier system. The Fun Pips did a great job of showing how to uh, modify guns, but they pretty much t left the melee system, um, modifier system, undeveloped, and, and at least in XML to figure out how to do it. So I thought I'd go ahead and put this out there as a template mod and show people um, what I did, and, and hopefully they can do uh, uh, a better job of it. Um, what I did is created a couple of bats, a wood bat, uh, which you see there, and uh, an exact copy with a different bad texture uh, as an aluminum bat. And these are the base items that we will be modifying. Um, so let me go ahead and show you a couple of uh, uh, things that you can add to this bat. Um, I will go ahead and put uh, this this I made really quickly. It was just a Campbell soup can, and uh, a blade, a couple, a bracket, and some bolts. Um, I think I can show you that maybe a little better there. Yep, there's the can of beans. I also made some, uh, um, and that's an attachment that would go on the top of the bat. The bat has four places to attach: the head, the middle of the bat, the grip, and the pommel. So that attachment would go on the head and affect the, the damage and the damage type of the blade would give a piercing damage type, for example. And then you have a um, item like this, which is, uh, if you're familiar with the game The Forest, uh, it's a tennis ball with feathers on it, and that's going to increase the attack speed of the weapon. And then you have, um, that would be a leather grip. And then uh, on the end of the bat, you could put various, uh, I, put little, I made little helmets to be for a uh, pommel cover. So let's uh, show you how that works. I guess um, I'm going to use the uh, metal bat because it has a six, which means I could put um, at least four modifiers on it. And you can see the texture is just ho absolutely horrible, and I apologize for that, but I think I can find somebody to fix those for me. Um, well, let's go ahead and get started. So what you do is you select the bat and you click modify. You're probably familiar with this. You can see the base bat has these properties, 25 melee damage, power attack damage, block damage, so on and so forth. And it has five empty modifier slots. So what we could do now is drag in a, a head, we'll drag a head mod in, which puts that bat on there. And I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out here and go, go back this way. And uh, let me go back. Just go back to a basic mod here. Click on that, modify, and now I'll put the next thing on. So there, there. Now I want to show you that I'm going to pick a like this axe head, another head option, and you see it's locked out. You can only put one. I have it set up to only put one of each, and every item is set uh, as an attachment, which means they can be easily removed and put back on. If in XML you change that to mod, it's a one-time thing. So um, for example, if you wanted to have a nailed bat, you could set that as a, rather than attachment as a mod, and those nails won't ever come out. They're st stuck. You have to start with a new bat if you want to do that. So, so it has that flexibility. So you can see you can put different um, different heads on. You can put a hoe. You could turn around and make it a pick with different properties. Um, there's a kind of a uh, a hat rack stand that was turned into uh, put onto the bottom of the uh, top of the bat. Uh, Nautilus gears from a gymnasium, from the gym equipment, and of course barbs, wire, and uh, another horrible texture, uh, crown, uh, kind of a gear that you would put on the top of it. Uh, you can also use these little um, different kind of spikes there, Canabo, Canabos, it's an African weapon type, I think, and so on and so forth. In addition to the ball, um, you can put on different types of weights, to change the uh, uh, knockdown properties and so on and so forth. Uh, and also you can add particle effects if you want to do that. I've got a couple of particle effects that you can add in. And you can do combinations. So you can have that and you can add in particle effect on the can as, as well. So let me go ahead and load this, uh, this guy up here. Um, I'll put a leather, gr uh, what's that? A leather grip. Eh, I think I'll use the rubber grip. And I'm going to use the uh, Hound helmet that's from the Game of Thrones. 
And we got one more slot, but I only have four positions, so it's pretty much maxed out there. I may come up with one more at some point um, to use the maximum slot, but like I said right now, what you actually can do is probably put a pass. There's a bunch of uh, passive modifiers that don't show up graphically, and you can put them in that slot. So yeah, you'll be able to use that. So let me go ahead and show you what uh, this looks like. So there's the bat right there. Um, and uh, like I said, it look, would look a little better with the, the better texture. And in this mod, uh, you see the feathers are animated. Um, you can anim actually animate these weapons attachments, and they work really, really well uh, doing that. I also included in this mod uh, my old standby, my favorite, which is the uh, saw bat. And, uh, so that's basically it. Um, what I wanted, uh, well, the last thing actually I want to show you is um, on the modifier screen, I didn't point out. Uh, let me pick that there. You notice the specs here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this can out for now. I've got some crushed sand. See, the base of the weapon is uh, does 36 melee damage. When I put that in there, it adds damage to the uh, weapon. Now, so if basically the wood bat does a little, does five less damage than the aluminum bat. And instead of doing overriding the damage, it's an additive. So you can add v these various factors to it. Um, attacks per minute doesn't show up with the speed ball on. Um, it's a perk increase, not a crease to the weapon. I haven't been able to figure out yet how to affect the attacks per minute on the weapon. If I do it as a perk on the player, uh, but it won't show up here yet. Um, so anyways, that is the uh, new modding system. And I'm going to uh, put that out there and hopefully people will be able to learn from it and um, make uh, other type of systems like pipe weapons, uh, modified uh, chainsaws, things like that, which would be pretty cool. So great. Have a great day.